Welcome back to Brands Hatch for round six of the Bennett's British Superbike Championship. And starting from the Omologato pole position for Gorilla OMG Racing Yamaha, it's Ryan Vickers. Ryan, another pole position for you. An incredibly, incredibly fast lap and you pulled it out of the bag straight away. Talk us through it, please. Yeah, it was a really nice lap. You know, I kind of kind of in my head came out with a 24-8, which is what I wanted. But um, yeah, really happy. Came straight out of the box on my own. Um, did my outlap, nice fast outlap, and then bang, first flying lap, almost like the Super Bowl, um, did my fastest lap, and then I, I made a huge mistake at Druids. Um, I was right out wide, I was over the over the middle tarmac strip, um, and I lost a good couple of two, three temps probably. Um, so then I had a lap off and then went again and did another 25 flat, um, but you just lose the edge of the best of the tire. Um, so then I had a couple of things to try while I was out there, so I stayed out on track, uh, tried my engine brake maps and um, just to get a confirmation of direction um, and it was quite useful uh, just as the tyre starts to degrade a tiny bit um, I could feel what it was going to do to the bike so yeah we're making uh, great steps uh, for the race and uh, yeah thanks to the Grilly OMG racing team of uh, yeah we've had a couple of bad rounds now and um, we've uh, we've got to the bottom of uh, some problems and uh, I feel like I'm uh, riding Riding my Yamaha that I know um, and that I've got confidence in. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're hoping to be at the top all weekend uh, this weekend, and uh, let's let's battle for the victories in in all three races. Thank you, Ryan. Cheers. And starting second on the grid from a cams racing Yamaha is Danny Ken. Danny, a, a strong qualifying session for you, building up throughout the weekend. Talk us through your session and how the weekend's gone so far, please. Yeah, it was a good session. Um, went out straight away on some on new rubber, so I knew I had to get uh, lap time in quite early. I saw the, the main contenders um, went out on, on used rubber, um, so I knew I had to set quite a fast lap time because they were just going to warm up on their used tyre and then um, go out and set a banker on a new set. But um, now I'm going into this afternoon's race really confident. Um, to be fair, coming into this weekend, I was confident. Um, this, this track is a really good track for me. Um, bike's feeling mega. The team have gave me a great bike, so... Um, no, all things are looking good for, for this afternoon. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. And completing the front row for Hager PBM Ducati, it's Glenn Irwin. Glenn, you came in straight away after the first outlap in the session and it looked like you were making some changes, changed the tyre. Talk us through your session because after such a strong day yesterday, slightly different conditions today compared to yesterday. How have you found today? First of all, it's always uh, good to be on the, the front row, especially when you look at the grid this year. You know, my brother's been riding fantastic all weekend and... I just looked and seen he's 11, so it's so easy to to be there. Um, we well, yeah, made some changes for FP3. Uh, really happy with my old tyre pace um, all weekend. Uh, is always happy with that. The one lap pace is usually quite tough against uh, the Yams, to be fair, uh, just for that that edge grip they get over uh, you know over a lap or two. But um, we exited on an old tyre, uh, which was part of the plan. And something we had made a change for, uh, based off FP3 and something we struggled with reared its head straight away with my rear coming around into Westfield. So we pit it as planned uh, for the new set. And to be honest, uh, I wasn't extremely confident in that moment. Um, yesterday, we like found a setting through uh, default as such. Uh, and the clickers weren't on in the rear shock in one of the, you know, like rebound compression, all that. And uh, we had something that gave us a lot of entry, but I, uh, I had a bike that was running wide on exit, so kind of amended that and lost uh, the nice entry feeling, tried to rediscover that, um, and uh, not, not, a, not a great feeling. So all in all, uh, the lap was a, a good lap, you know, so close to pole position, so close to second position with Danny, and, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Uh, we have information for the guys to look at later. You know, I'm struggling too much with spin down Dingledale, um, something the guys need to rectify. I feel I'm having to use too much lean angle to turn the bike. Uh, the Ducati relies on drive grip and not edge grip, so that then puts you on the edge grip of the tyre and you uh, struggle more on the exit. So a good session, a good lap time, um, but I'm looking a little bit more feeling, but I always prefer racing. So hopefully, uh, like uh, the guys have said, uh, we're back up chatting later on and you know, for the championship, it's a, a good starting position and uh, no doubt we can fight with the Yamahas and Tommy and Brooksy up there as well, which is always good to see because uh, I want to do this job forever and he's kicking on a bit now and he's uh, still rapidly uh, competitive, so it's always nice to see him up there. Thank you, Glenn.